So, a friend of mine, a student, recently asked me how he could conquer this section in Gershwin Prelude. <laughs> First of all, understand this in the context of music. If you were to put adjectives to this music, nobody would say this is fast or this is particularly difficult, right? It's, it just happens to be more challenging at the end because it's octave and because the leaps are bigger, but the general mood of the music is some people swing it. It's kind of, you know, um, humorous, kind of like a bit jazzy, right? Relaxed, fun, you know, it's like, it's, it's not panicky, it's not serious, it's not physical, it's not, you know, it's not urgent, right? So you still want that feeling, but let's not think of the whole thing as difficult. Let's just tackle, isolate the problems, pinpoint the problems, and then tackle each challenge and solve them. The leap is, it's a wide leap, okay, but it's wider if your upper body is closer to the keyboard. When your mind identifies something as difficult, you want to look at it closely and your instinct is counterproductive in that it tries to be closer to the source of the problem. But if you resist it and then lean backward and then move, not thinking from the tips of your thumb to here, but rather think of it as an arm motion from the back muscle. And also realize that It's this, always, three times, repeat. So if you get this, then you're done for the next three challenges. Also, if you were to think from thumb to thumb, it is a wide leap, but if you were to think from thumb to the bottom of the chord, it's not that much. Visually, it's not. Physically, it's not and you can be more relaxed. Now, why do I use the thumb in the bass note and not the pinky? Isn't that easier? The reason is because I want to feel this as a whole arm motion. You can certainly do this, but the sound is more amenic if you, I mean, for me, my pinky won't produce the same sound that the thumb would. I want to feel this as an impulse, yum, right? And if you could choreograph it so that you enjoy the motion, okay. This also, try to play this, try to play one measure with one impulse. So, Okay, now, now this might seem like a big leap, but if you were to think, uh, you're just taking over the same C, so it's not. Yep, it's not that much. It's not. It's not that difficult. Also, this, if you were to think. It might feel busy, but think of this as with a little bit of ornaments. Yeah. That your hands end up playing with the impulse of the thumb. And don't forget to breathe. If you're not breathing, 
you're tight, your body is tight with lots of tension, but if you're loose, this becomes very easy. And this, um, so this is not, nobody is judging you for mistakes. This is just almost like a glissando. This is a sound effect. It doesn't need to be even. If you need to, take time at the beginning. And the way to practice this, group it, right? So groups of two. Change the rhythm. And then groups of maybe three. Change the grouping. And then groups of four, and change the grouping. Change the groupings, and then combine both hands. Of course, you can practice slowly too. It's and you know actually this does not have to be in tempo. And this leap, so what's written is here, so this would be closer. I like doing this for the punch. If you were to be looking at the destination before you play the first chord, your eyes on the destination, what's ahead? You can't miss it, really. I use the fist for the punch. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment in any questions, any requests. Um, let me hear from you. See you soon.